Right, joined by manager Steve King. Um, Steve, previewing Haven on Saturday. Um, firstly, let's talk about Slough. Um, I mean, this is obviously this is the first time we've, we've managed to keep, ca catch up with you since Saturday, uh, Sunday, sorry. Um, yeah, Steve, give us your thoughts. Um, obviously, the first and foremost is, is the result. It's cup football, doesn't matter really how you, how you get through, as long as you get through. Um, I thought for the first half, it wasn't good enough, and I think the game wasn't good enough. Um, there was a little bit of nerves in there, I felt. Um, you know, a lot of long ball stuff and that, which I don't like. And, but they did have an instruction for me, in, you know, first 10, 15 minutes to turn the opposition around and to try and stretch the game a little bit. Um, didn't quite work. So we went back to what we what we were good at doing. Uh, one thing I was really pleased with was, was defensively, that back five, including the keeper, were solid. They had a couple of chances with long throw-ins and corners. Uh, other than that, that, I don't remember a shot on goal in, in the whole of the game. But, you know, they did have the, the glancing header that just went over the bar, which was a great chance for them in the first half. Uh, that was their best chance. And then we sort of spoke in, at half-time and just sort of said, let's get back to the way we play, pass the ball. Um, and I felt that as soon as we went one up, I could see they had to change their shape and it gave us more spaces on the pitch. And I think we to took total control from that point. Yeah, you did. Um, certainly from where I was, I, I was sitting behind in that main stand. But in the second half, <coughs> certainly Jack, Jack in the middle and Ty got on the ball a lot more, didn't they? And, and caused them real problems in that second half, didn't they? Yeah, I think we, you know, we scored three and we could have had probably two or three more. Um, I felt fitness looked good, they looked sharp second half and when we started doing one touch, two touch football I, I was you know, really pleased with the um, the way we started to play and, and sort of control the game like I said and I think you know we've run out deserved winners in the end. Yeah two goals, let's go on to individuals, um, two goals from Charlie Sheringham, um, he had one last week at Bournemouth Friendly, you mentioned in the week with myself that there were people that have put themselves back into your plans. He certainly did that with two puncture finishes. Yeah, I mean, Charlie Charlie can score them kind of goals and that was important, that's what we see. We see the uh, Macker and Elliot can score goals, which again, you know, they're second and second joint top scorers in the division, the pair of them. So we know they can score goals, but it's different types of goals to, to Charlie. So I think Charlie's come back, he's looked sharp, he's looked well contribution in training and then at the bottom wood friendly just made us sit back and think we could do with that in the playoff finals so if he gets a chance he's likely to score more clinical if you like to put it and he's like in the right place at the right time and you know it's brilliant yeah you mentioned uh, just a minute ago about about four and of course AJ um I thought his catching was <coughs> absolutely brilliant all afternoon and, and about about four Craig um Jordan uh Obviously, Josh and, uh, and Tom, they showed a real leadership uh, at the back, didn't they, all afternoon? Yeah, I mean, that's, that goes, you know, there's clean sheets that they've kept time and time again as a group. Um, the, the, whoever comes in, you know, whether Sanchez plays right back or Nick plays right back, um, there's, we, we're quite solid. We've built on about 13 clean sheets in, in 23 games, so something like that anyway. Um, so they've built a good foundation. So we have footballers in front of them that can go and play and tries to you know, cause problems for the opposition. So to come away in a quarterfinals winning 3-0, you know, we can't kind have of asked for any more. Yeah, someone that did come in, <coughs> um, come off the bench for the last 15, 20 minutes was Luke Monadeo. Um, fantastic finish from the left-hand side cutting in. Both him and Kai made a real impact for the last yeah, 15, 20 minutes, didn't they? They did, massive impact. And Brownie could have scored as well. Um, but we said to him, this, 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 these competition now, quarterfinals, semis, they're not about 11 players, it's about 17, 18 players. You know, the squad, utilise the squad, and you could be called upon any minute to make an impact in the game. So you need to be focused, you need to be, you know, head up, even if you're not starting, you've got to realise you've got a part to play in the team. And we've tried to tell them, it's, it's, it's not about the 11 starters, it's about all of you, because you could be coming in at any given time. And like I say, Luke, you know, Luke's listened, he's come on, he's made a real impact. Brownlee's made a real impact when the game needs, you know, stretching and it's tired legs. They, 
that you wouldn't want them to coming on and running on you. And, and that's what happened. And we caused all sorts of problems again. And like I said, we could have scored two or three more. Yeah, back in back earlier on in the season, um, there was there was nothing in the game, in the league game up at Slough. <coughs> Unfortunately, we, we did get beaten. But that second half, did it didn't really show you, Steve, how far your Dartford side have come. Because in the end, we run out convincing winners. It was, it was more like the first goal was always going to be a big decisive moment in the yeah, game. Yeah. As soon as we got it, they had to come out. But I could see the kind of side grit and determination side they are. If they had gone in front, it may have been harder to break them down. Yeah. So I think the first goal was major. Um, <clears throat> and they're, you know, they're a decent team. You know, they wouldn't be en end up finishing third or fourth in the division if they wasn't. Um, the guys over there, John and, and, and Bates, have done a magnificent job to get, in the, get, to get in the playoffs this year, and they had a right go at it. Um, so, you know, I've got much respect for them two guys and, and, and their football club, because I think, you know, they gave a great account of themselves to being in the playoffs the whole season, more or less, um, considering the start they had. I think they lost the first three games on the bounce, and then they went on from there. Um, so, you know, when we played them last time, it was a mistake that was the difference in that game. Um, but I felt that this time it was more even first half. Like I said, they had that header, a great chance, and then we took control. So really, I was really pleased from that point of view that you know it was it was a close contest up till half time, and then we we stepped up another level. Yeah, so the the, the journey continues. For yourself and Dartford City um, onto having having a Waterlooville on Saturday. Um, what sort of tests do they pose? Tough, really. really you know, you finish second in the league, second best team in the league. It's that's as simple as that. They've got individuals that can hurt you a little bit. They're different from obviously Slough. Slough are more of a group, a group that can grind you down and hurt you. Whereas they've got individuals that can win you matches and that's that's a difference between the two sides and that's obviously where they finished runners up this year. Um, when I see them earlier in, on in the season, beat Dorking 6-0, um, I thought they were the best team in the league. and the best team that I'd seen the first 60 minutes of football I'd seen for many a year. Their performance that night was was unbelievable. So we know we're going there. It's a tough, tough hearts to go and win at their place. But we've got, we've got players in our team that are more than capable of um, scoring goals. And we've got more, you know, winning games and keeping clean sheets. So it's going to be a cagey game, obviously. I know yeah. the manager really well. We've been speaking all through this process because he had a massive part to play. Yeah in the playoffs going ahead. Um, we've all done our little bits, but he, he, he had a massive part, uh, Paul Doswell, a massive part in, in this going ahead. So, um, yeah, we, we, we've been around a long time, the pair of us, you know, we've had sort of parallel success. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be a tough, tough game. In terms of preparation um, for us, how, how, how are the boys looking? And, and is preparation going to change or are you going to... No, we've we, we trained, trained tonight, yeah. um, light one, really light, because we've only had 36 hours turnaround, yeah. so it's nothing, you know, there's people a bit tired, there's people, you know, could do with massages and things like that, so it's, yeah, it's, it's a light one, we'll we, we go a little bit more sharper on Thursday, ready for Saturday, um, but, you know, people are sort of saying they've got an advantage because you've played a game, I don't quite see it that way. Mm. Because I could say they're going to be fresh, jumping at the bit to play. We've played, and there's a few tired legs out there. So, you know, I, I, I think it's just going to be a game on the day, and you know, it could be a bit of luck that wins the game. It could be anything that wins the game. So, you know, I think it'll be a very, very close game. Yeah, I mean, it was a bit weird at Sal, wasn't it? That obviously no <laughs> fans there, um, and of course, go to heaven, and there'll be no fans again. Um, does that does that make it even more does that make it more even have, not having the fans <coughs> there because not necessarily a home advantage is it? No, they're in, it's you know it's it's their ground so they know that their ground better yeah. but there ain't no advantage to it. Like you say, there's, there's no fans there. It's on the day. It's who turns up, who produces, and like I say, it could be luck, it could be skill involved, it could be anything involved to win that game. So I think it's it's a, I think it's an that can go either way in this game. In my opinion, no different to what I felt at Slough. It was a 50 50 game, and I think this is a 50 50 game. There we go. We wish Steve and the Dartford boys all, all the good luck 
on Saturday afternoon. We must stress though as a football club, please do not turn up to Haven and Waterloo Hill because you won't get in. But of course, keep supporting the boys. Your support back back at home was absolutely fantastic for Slam. We all knew that you were supporting us. So thank you, Steve, and uh, all the best on, on Saturday. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.